Hey, Tony and Jesse's here from uh, Bird and Sun Reptiles with another video. Here I'm going to show off my uh, my new addition. This is a female blood python. Not sure of the country of origin, if it's Sumatran uh, or where. I got it from a, 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 a guy off of Craigslist. I traded two baby ball pythons for this guy, so... Snake really only cost me 90 bucks because that's what I spent on them two snakes. Beautiful, beautiful snake. She's pretty good nature too, just like my my male blood. Like I said, I just got her. You know, blood pythons have a reputation of being nasty, really nasty, aggressive snakes. And I'm some, I'm, they, most of them are, a lot of them are, I'm guessing, but... My experience with them is, as long as you hold them and treat them right, they're, they're docile animals. Kind of like um, pit bulls. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying, that's true, that's true. Treat them right and they'll not be evil. Well, they get in their moods. Yeah. My big male, adult, he gets in his moods, but he's as, he's as uh, docile as any other snake I've ever had, too. So, love the markings on the snake. There's a belly shot. Like I said, this is a female. I did measure her too. I think I measured her and weighed her. If I remember correctly. Hang on a second, Bubba. Yeah. No, uh, if you can, try to notice a small burn mark on her. I'll show that off here in a minute. You can barely see it, but it's right here. Yeah. It's very small. Let's notice, but... Like I said, where I got her, they didn't give me a hatch date. A real approximate, uh, exact one anyways. The dude told me I had to drive two hours to get this in Orlando um, to trade for this snake. He said he got it in February of this year, which is 2012, at the Daytona Reptile Show, whatever that one was called up there in Daytona. Uh, so I'd say her hatch, and he said that she was pretty, really small, so I'm guessing her hatch date was sometime in January. Um, I would estimate January, what day, no idea. I know I measured her. No, you weighed her. I, I know, but I didn't write it down. Give me one second, Jesse. Take over for a second. Yeah, um, I've, I weren't like he said. We're not really sure what kind of blood python she is, but from pictures, I'd say that she she looks at least like an Indonesian or Malaysian blood python. Based on the pictures I've seen, she looks very similar to those ones. I already know she's not a Sumatran because Sumatran bloods are like blood red, like Diablo is. She's real, and plus her patterning on the back kind of. I'm not really sure what it's really called, but I've heard it called many things. I think it's Matrix, but she could not be a Matrix, I don't think. Her back patterning just reminds me of that. She's really calm, which is, like he said. Keep going. She's really calm for a blood just like Diablo is. Now she weighs uh, 577 grams. And she's approximately 32 inches long. So 577 grams, approximately 32 inches long. Now I say approximately 32 inches long, so I was trying to measure. I was measuring with a yardstick, and it's not as easy as you might think to stretch out a snake without without hurting her. And I did not want to do that, so I approximated it to 32 inches. I think that's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, 
My son was saying something about these when I left, about not knowing if it was a Sumatran or a Malaysian. What else are you saying, Jess? Indonesian. Indonesian or Malaysian, I believe. Is there an Indonesian one? Yeah, over. I saw some on the internet. Did you? <laughs> She's going towards the camera. Like for the blood pythons, there's really uh, from what I know, three different species of blood pythons. And of course, the blood pythons are the stockiest of the pythons. And yes, I am looking at a book, but I'm not reading it word for word. Like I said, I want everything in my videos to be as close as possible. Um, it says in here, I'm not going to quote the, I'm not quoting the book, but. There's Python Curtis Curtis, PC Breitensteini, I can't say these right probably, and BC Brongersmai, and I know I'm probably not saying that all right. The P. Curtis is often called the black blood python because it's the darkest one in color. It is also called the Sumatran blood python. I guess they're dark. The P. Uh, Britonsteini is usually called the Borneo short tail python, but we may also they call it the Borneo python or Borneo blood. All three of them occur in the pet trade, and a lot of times most of your breeders don't know the difference between them, as it states in the book. Uh, it says here the most highest degree that P. Curtis is the easiest to handle of the species. I remember somewhere in this book, the only reason I got this book is because they said the blood red ones are I'm trying to see what they call the blood red ones because my male is like a blood red. I think, I remember overhearing he's a Sumatra. Yeah. Like he's, a, they're the darkest of the species. And he's a really dark blood red. It says, uh, P. Brongersmai is the only form that gets the deep blood red coloration. And that's the last one in their size. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, there's three different species of bloods, and uh, time will tell. I'll make sure here in a later time, and uh, from somebody who knows, hopefully, and get an answer to that. What are we looking for our time on the video, baby? Almost eight minutes. As I was saying when you were in there, her patterning on her back almost looks Matrix-like. I'm not really sure, though. I've only seen a few Matrix designs. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. I wouldn't say that. But like I said, when we got her, uh, the owner said she got this little burn scar from a heat mat. But I don't see that happen. It was either from a heat lamp, having it too close to the top of the cage, or a heat rock, which you should not use at all. If it was a heat rock, I would think it'd be on her belly, but who knows. All I know is you can't really tell it's there. I'm thinking she's going to shit out of that. She's got a long life ahead of her. She's a beautiful snake. Did we get a shot of her belly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, earlier. Get her way all the way to her tail here. I like the markings on the tip of her tail here. Yeah. Almost got like a cream color to her in here. Mm -hmm. What did you call her, Mom? Cream sickle. Cream sickle. <laughs> <laughs> My son actually named the snake Lucy. I don't even know if I said that. This snake, this female blood, is their name's Lucy. To go with. My male blood Diablo. is named Diablo. And since Diablo is Spanish for devil, another word for devil is Lucifer, figured name her Lucy. For a, since it's a female. Like I said, I checked her over real good. I don't see no signs of mites. Yeah, it's important to check them over for that. Don't. Everything looks good. You get another shot of her belly. Another her shot of her belly. Her belly is like really. My blood, my blood pot, my other male blood pot down his belly is pretty dark too. I think they're all like that. Okay. Ten minutes. 
All right, we're going to have to cut this video short. We're already at the 10-minute mark. Uh, making more soon. You guys take it easy. Take it. Bye-bye.